Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has released the latest Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 24H2. And for this month of August 2025, the update is KB5063878. And as you can see, that bumps the build up to 26,100.4946. And as I mentioned in a previous video, Microsoft has started introducing the build number next to updates now. And I actually quite like that, especially running a YouTube technical channel. Now, first and foremost, the update will address security issues with Windows 11 24H2. And if you missed my two previous videos earlier today, across the board for this month, Microsoft has fixed 107 floors. So that's for all the Microsoft products and services. And 13 of those are critical vulnerabilities, 9 are remote code execution vulnerabilities, 3 are information disclosure, and 1 is elevation of privilege. And the big one here is that CVE 20255377.9, which is listed as Windows Kerberos Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability, is a current zero-day exploited in the wild. So that's an important one. It means it's out there current and happening. So that's an important security fix. So 107 flaws have been patched across the different products and services. And obviously Windows 11 24H2's fixes will be bundled in that as well. Now, as always, the security update will contain fixes and quality improvements from the previous optional bug fix C release update that rolled out towards the end of last month, July, which is this update, KB5062660. So if you didn't install this update, those fixes and improvements are now bundled with this update. And I posted a whole video on 5062660, which I'll leave linked down below in the end screen. But just a very quick recap, because there was quite a lot going on. Now, the first couple of new features I'm just going to mention, because they apply to Copilot plus PCs. So the update adds the ability to reset recall and all of its data. In the EEA, recall now supports exporting snapshots to share with trusted third-party apps and websites. It also includes click to do improvements and Copilot plus PCs get a new AI agent in settings, which basically means that AI can answer your questions regarding anything related to the settings app. So those are for Copilot plus PCs. Now, the search box in settings will now be located, as you can see, at the top center. And I actually quite like this. I know it kind of pushes everything down a bit, but I quite like this centered look and feel with the new search box. I don't think it's everybody's cup of tea, but for me, it gets the job done. And if we head to our system page and we head to recovery, we've now got a new quick machine recovery that automatically detects and fixes widespread issues on Windows. And just to mention the next, it also includes a new black screen of death. So the blue screen of death has been replaced with a black screen of death, as I've mentioned previously. And instead of two separate pages, if we head to privacy and security, instead of two separate pages for settings, being search permissions and search in Windows, you'll now find everything in one place under settings, privacy and security, search. So those two pages now have been bundled into one page and I actually think this is a very nice move in the right direction. Just to mention the next, the gamepad layout of the Windows Touch keyboard now includes enhanced controller navigation and also supports pin sign-in on the Windows lock screen. It fixes an important firewall known issue. And if we head back into our settings system, and we head down to optional features, it moves the optional features in settings. Now, prior to this, the optional features were listed on this page, but now you need to click on view features. And you've got them now listed in this sub menu with a search at the top. 
So that's a small little UI change. For some reason, Microsoft has done that. And then it also includes numerous bug fixes and much more. Go check the video out because it was quite a big update. Video will be linked as mentioned. And then something else I've noticed, which wasn't there in the last update. Now, I can't confirm if this has been a change with this latest update or if it was a server-side update between the last update and this one. But nonetheless, just to keep us all on the same page, if we head to Privacy and Security, you will now see that Privacy is now Recommendations and Offers. And if we click on that, although the toggles are more or less the same, the actual options, they've just rephrased things a little bit. So we've now got personalized offers at the top, get personalized tips and ads and recommendations based on my Windows activity. And then the rest are more or less what they are and were previously. Just Microsoft has reconfigured the naming of those different options in some cases. So I thought that was an interesting change. And for me, I just like to keep all of these off for obvious reasons when it comes to privacy and security. So that's something I've also noticed. And then Microsoft has also rolled out an independent bug fix, fixing authentication with this update, where the update addresses an issue that caused delays during sign-in on new devices. The delay was due to certain pre-installed packages, so they obviously deemed that important enough to roll out with this month's security update for Patch Tuesday. And then if you are running a Copilot Plus PC, it also updates the following AI components. That would be image search, content extraction, semantic analysis, and settings model. That would only be for Copilot Plus PCs with those AI components. And then because this is an automatic compulsory update, which will be downloaded and installed automatically. If we head over to Winver, about Windows, the OS build for Windows 11 24H2, once the update has been applied, will now be bumped up to 26,100.4946. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.